In this video, we're going to reveal to you the five apps that you need to have for you to manage and create for your personal brand through Facebook, all right? So the first thing that we need to have is our Facebook app. Of course, like everybody needs a Facebook app. If you wanna, if you wanna create content through Facebook and start your personal brand on Facebook, then you need to have a Facebook app, okay? This is for the sole purpose for you to understand the user interface because sometimes Facebook, or not really sometimes, most of the time they update their user interface. So if you're not, if you're not familiar with a user interface, you're going to have a hard time in terms of adjusting as to how you're going to create your content, all right? So just like before, Facebook didn't have stories features, but now they have a story feature and it's like a portrait on your um, mobile phone and so it is very important for us to understand how that works so so that we can adjust how we create content for your audience so that's the first one the facebook app the second one is pages not the not the macbook pages but the facebook page manager it's like a page it's called pages so that is where you you like put everything that you're going to do on facebook it has the message feature it has the comment feature you can also see what you're posting there and the scheduled post so you need to have that because it makes your life easier it it compresses everything that you want to know about your page on that app all right the third thing is ads manager right which is the facebook ads because you, when you start, and especially when you have money to spare and you want to market your Facebook ads, uh, when you want to market your posts or your page, it is very imperative for you to have this, especially when you're trying to sell something and when you're trying to promote a certain video or a certain post or a certain graphic. So this is very important because some people just use the boost post in their Facebook page or in their Facebook post, which is not really effective. So all it does is just to boost your post and get more impressions for your post. But in terms of strategically planning or positioning your ads, that is where you go in. It's the Facebook ads. Don't worry, we're going to show you how to use it on the later part of this, um, some of the sub modules, okay? The fourth one, is when you are doing graphic you need to have a software for editing graphics for us what we do since we don't really do graphic is just keynote keynote is like a powerpoint on microsoft but on macbook or apple it's called keynote because it's easy for us to do all we have to do is slap the image over there like for example me i'm speaking like that and there's a quote like here yeah something like that so we use that on Keynote. You can also try to explore Canva, which is like a website, and then you can use their templates over there, and it's very easy. But if you are more into like technicalities, you can also try to use Photoshop, okay? Adobe Photoshop. If you're an old school, maybe you can try Paint, but uh, no, don't, don't, don't do it. Just kidding, all right? Just want to add some uh, fun things here anyway so those are the four, four things the five the fifth thing is about your video editing part so the fit video editing part we use premiere and because we it's easy to use and uh, there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube as to how you can use it and how we use premiere is really not that complicated right we just put some um, transcriptions over there and just some insert in and and insert out and something like that so it's easy for us to do it okay so those apps or tools the five apps that you need in order for you to run your social media brand which are again number one is your Facebook number two is your pages number three is your ads manager number four is your photo editing app it depends on you what uh, what software or website or tool is most convenient for you and the last one is your video editing for us we use premiere some people use vegas some some people use final cut pro so at the end of the day it depends on what you're most efficient where you are most efficient and effective okay so those are the five things that you need to have